Hello and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In today's lesson I continue my series of tutorials where I demonstrate how to use keyboard shortcuts in Excel. In this lesson the focus is on keyboard shortcuts for efficiently entering and editing data in a cell. These are the keyboard shortcuts that I'm going to demonstrate for entering data, the keyboard shortcuts that I will demonstrate for editing data in the active cell or in an active selection. A little later on in the lesson, I'll show you how you can download for free my complete five-page chart of popular keyboard shortcuts in Excel. All right, let's get started. When you want to enter the current date in a cell, use this keyboard shortcut, control semicolon. Want to enter the current time in a cell? Control shift colon. Want to control where your uh, cell moves to when you make an entry? Use these keyboard shortcuts. Enter, control plus enter, shift plus enter, tab, shift plus tab. All right, let's get started. Let's come over here and take a look at how in cell A4 we can have the cell contain the current date. Control semicolon enter. So in cell A4 I use control uh, semicolon to enter in a constant value, a hard-coded value, a date stamp if you will. So this cell date will not update. By contrast in cell A5 if I enter in the today function equals today and there are no arguments but it still requires a left and a right parentheses and this time I'm going to use control enter to keep the focus in place a5 contains what's called a volatile function so the value that's returned tomorrow in a5 will be September the 7th whereas the date stamp the constant value that we use with control semicolon will remain constant as September 6 2011 unless we delete it or edit it manually how about selecting the current time the keyboard shortcut to timestamp is control shift colon and I'll use enter to move the focus one row down so once again this is a time stamped constant hard coded value by contrast if I use the now function like the today function the now function is a volatile function I'm going to use control enter to keep the focus on the active cell notice the formatting is different so the now function gives us the current date as well as the current time now one reason that I like to use control enter when I'm uh, enter data into a cell is let's just say that I want to just type in the word time and if I use control enter you see the active cell remains the same cell as my text entry perhaps I'd like to change the formatting I could use the keyboard shortcut control B to apply bold formatting control I to apply italic formatting on top of it control U to underline that value so control enter is a great keyboard shortcut when we want to keep the focus in place and accept whatever we type in the normal way that we enter data is we press the enter key so when we press the enter key you notice how the focus moves one row below in the current column what if I would like to move the focus one cell above so here if I type in the word above and if I use this keyboard shortcut shift enter you see how the focus now moves to the cell above want to move the focus to the right let's start from over here and this time what I want to do is I want to press tab so now the focus moves to the right want to move it to the left instead of hitting enter instead of hitting tab I use shift tab so now the focus moves over to the left and once again when I want to keep the focus here in place use control enter and this way I could format it with control B control I control U now there's another great use for control enter and this time I'm going to make a selection of a contiguous range of cells so from this starting point K6 if I hold down shift and use my directional arrows to select a range of cells and I type in the word range don't hit enter use control enter and now you populate the cells that you had selected ahead of time I'll use control Z to undo that so I could put in the current date control semicolon and use control enter 
Now, just before I leave this part, if you're an old 10 key fan, if you, you just like to hit enter, but you want to have the focus move to the right, here's the trick. Make a selection of cells in that row ahead of time. So I can use 1, enter, 2, enter, 3, enter, 4, enter. You see how the focus moves to the right, but you make the selection ahead of time. Now, this is an absolutely fantastic keyboard shortcut. You will bless the day that you learn this keyboard shortcut. In this case, I have a long text entry. You see how it spills out out of the cell B10? Well, that's great as long as there's no data over here, but if I place some data in C10, well, now this text entry is truncated. So here's how we can word wrap. What we can do down here is we can start typing this is a long and use this keyboard shortcut alt enter text entry and now i use enter so you see what happened you see how the row the height of the row increased but the width of the column remained in place let's do it again now at the point where i want to wrap the text alt enter and this time I'll use control enter so you see the height of the row increased but the width of the column remained in place alt enter all right so these are the keyboard shortcuts that I covered oh without with one exception when you want to abort or you want to get out of an entry so if I'm starting to type and I say oh I don't really don't want that just hit the escape key so these are those keyboard shortcuts for entering data now we're gonna move in to keyboard shortcuts for entering data and I'm gonna focus on the active cell so this is the keyboard shortcut that we're going to start off with, F2. When we use F2, it opens up what's called edit mode. So F2, notice how the uh, cursor is in the cell, and we can start editing. As you also notice down here in the status bar, it tells us that we're in edit mode. Well, what if I would like to start my editing from some point other than the end of the cell? What if I want to start from the beginning of the cell? While I'm in edit mode, which I entered with F2, if I press the home key, you see how it moves the focus to the beginning. Use end to put the focus back at the end. What if I would like to move it over one complete word? Instead of using the arrow, the left arrow, one entry or one character at a time, if you hold down control while you press the left directional arrow, you see it moves to the beginning of the previous word. And as you might guess, control and the right directional arrow moves you over one complete word. Now, what if I want to move over and I would like to change text in to date. You see where my focus is? Now this is not in my chart for this lesson, but if I hold down control and hold down shift while I use the right directional arrow, you see how it's selected the entire word. So now I can just over type with date space and I'll use control enter. Let's change this text entry from the beginning. Remember F2 to start editing inside the cell. Home to move to the beginning. I use control shift right directional arrow to ch uh, select the entire word. I change the word to edit space and I'll use enter to move the focus down. What if I'd like to delete from a certain point? So F2 edit mode, control left arrow, control left arrow. You see how it's moving one word at a time? Now if I want to delete from here to the end, control delete deletes from that point to the end. All right. Now, there's another great way that we can save ourselves a lot of time and also eliminate what I like to call GIGO. When we enter a number in a cell, the default entry is that numbers are aligned to the right of the cell. Over here I have 1, 2, 3, but notice how it's aligned to the left. Well, that's because I tricked it into becoming a text entry. When we use the apostrophe as the first character in a cell, it will convert 
to text. Now, this is something that you want to be on the lookout. You could have numbers which appear to be numbers, but they're actually stored as text. And a good way to spot that is to go in to a cell, and of course we could go into F2, and you see how clear it becomes that we have an apostrophe as the first character. If I delete that and control enter, you see how now I have a real number. I'll use control Z to bring that back. This is especially important if you're working on a complicated formula and you just can't figure out how this works. F2 home, you see I have that apostrophe at the beginning. Watch what happens when I remove the apostrophe. Control enter. You see I have the result of the formula here. Let's use control Z to bring that back. So if I'm just stuck on something, if I want to copy it or come back to it later, F2 home and then put an apostrophe in as your first character. So this works very very well for formulas. F2 home and put an apostrophe in there and now I have the actual contents of the cell. Sometimes it just makes it a lot easier to take a look at it. All right, so there you've learned some terrific keyboard shortcuts for entering and editing data. I have a complete video lesson on my DVD-ROM, The 50 Best Tips for Excel 2007, but I promise to show you how you could download this complete chart, the five-page chart of popular keyboard shortcuts uh, in Excel. All you have to do is come to my website www.thecompanyrocks.com and over here on the right in the navigation pane come down here to exclusive membership content area and it will direct you to uh, the link that will enable you to download those keyboard shortcuts. So I have fun sharing my tips on keyboard shortcuts. I hope you enjoy them and I'll look for you in the next lesson.